Hey everyone, welcome back to Undertale. Um, in the last episode, we caught up with Undine and we're getting ready to square off with her. So I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but we're gonna see what happens. That's it then? No more running away. Here I come. On guard. Oh, we're gonna be so murdered. Undine attacks. Attack 50, defense 20, the heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Okay. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. What's that supposed to mean? And Jean holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. I don't understand what just happened. Was I not supposed to do anything? You tell Undine her attacks are too easy, she doesn't care. When I said face towards danger, I meant face towards the bullets. Undine flips her spear impatiently. Not bad then, how about this? Dean holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. What? I did it right that time. You can't complain. You tell Dean her talks are too easy. Blah, blah, blah. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. I feel like I'm playing, like, DDR or something. And Dean flashes a menacing smile. You told him, Dean, you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. And Dean thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Oh, she got me. And Dean suplexes a huge boulder just because she can. Who does that? The, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I can barely keep up enough. Uh, enough warming up. What? Oh, that's what I get for not paying attention. And Dean flips her spear impatiently. eat the nice cream. You look nice today. You recovered 15 HP. <laughs> You're tough. Yeah, that's right. I'm tough. And Dean towers threateningly. But even if I spared you, I think that's an option. I mean, I mean, I'm okay with some sparing. Dean bounces impatiently. No human has ever made it past Adsgore. And Dean Tower startingly. I guess I could hit her. I don't really want to. Honestly, killing you is now an act of mercy. Oh, I'm gonna die. And Dean holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. You eat the crab apple and recover 18 HP. I really wish I'd have bought more health items, because I'm probably gonna die. And being too close is a huge boulder. So stop being so damn resilient. Damn it messes with me when it changes styles. Hmm. Oh, it gave me the option of fleeing. Maybe I should have done that. Hey, 
it let me run away oh not really <laughs> you escaped from me for the last time office told me humans were determined Ooh, that one was tricky and Jean draws her finger across her neck. Don't forget me, fish lady. I see now what she meant by that. But I'm determined to. Ah! And Jean thinks of her friends upon the ground with her fists. Determined to end this right now. Yeah, me too, before I die. I'm out of healing items. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. We're going in with a different strategy next time. We're gonna try to run away from her as quickly as we can. We're also gonna go back into town and buy some more healing items because I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to let me back across the bridge to go back and buy more healing items and I almost panicked. If I can remember how to get back into town. I think it was just up this way. Oh man, this is going to be such a long journey back. One eternity later. All right, and we're back finally. Um, so I went and I got plenty of healing items, well as many as I could carry. So let's try this again. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Smells like sushi. Because <laughs> uh, she's a fish. Gross. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Dean holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. I won't let you snatch it away from us. And Dean Suplex is a huge boulder. I'm okay with the warm up, really. And Dean flips her spear. Yeah! Oh, shit. You won't get away from me this time. I wonder if maybe I should have hopped on one of those icebergs. I wonder if that was an option. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. I don't think murdering me is, is doing me a favor. No human has ever made it past Asgore. And Dean bounces impatiently. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Whatever helps you sleep at night. And Dean holds her fist in front of her and shakes her hand. So stop being so damn resilient. Oh, I missed the button. Oh, I missed the button. And Dean draws her finger across her neck. Stop threatening me. Let's use this. Your speed boost and you recover 10 HP. What the hell are humans made out of? Well, I could give you a list, but I don't think that's what you want to know. 
Dean flashes her menacing smile. I've got better to do. Damn it, woman! You've escaped from me for the last time. You look nice today. You recovered 15 HP. Alps told me humans were determined. Those tricky yellow arrows. I see now what she meant by that. And Dean Simplex is a huge boulder. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm determined too. Dean Towers threateningly. Determined to end this right now. And Dean thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Right now. Smells like sushi. Right. Now. You're not gonna kill me. You can keep trying. I bought plenty of of uh, HP refilling items. Ha ha. And Dean Towers threateningly. Let's use a crab apple. Covered H 18 HP. Ugh, die, you little brat. Nope. I refuse. If you're gonna pull that tricky shit, then I might die. And Dean holds her fist in front of her head. Oh, I can run away again. Run! Welcome to the hot land. This is a bad time to be calling me Papyrus. Oh, I so knew it. I so knew it was Papyrus. Oh, God. What could he possibly want? Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Nadine should all hang out sometime. Um, you can come hang out with us now and, like, rescue me. That'd be cool. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Click. Stop running away. Well, stop trying to kill me and I'll stop running. Nadine attacks. Sons! Help me, sons! Come back here, you little punk. <laughs> she stopped to talk to sons. That gave me some time. A water cooler? Uh-oh. Armor so hot. But I can't give up. I mean, you can. I I won't tell anyone. Oh. Now she's even uglier than she was before. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Yes. You take a cup of water. We'll give the fish some water. And then run like a little bitch. I'm just like dumping it on her face. No, thank you. You're just gonna walk away. And you were calling me a punk, and you just walked away. After I saved your life. I feel so used. Seeing a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. Well, we made it through. Sorry. Undine, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, as royal guards are blocking off the elevator for now. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Dean. Because I'm totally not that human. Maybe I should go this way first. There might be something good down. Ooh. 
Well, that looks foreboding. Tra la la, I'm the river man. Or, am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? I don't know. <laughs> kind of look like the Grim Reaper. Oh, cool. Never mind. I don't want to go anywhere. Damn it. Now we're stuck in a boat with a creepy person. Eat a mushroom every day. Why? Then I know you're listening to me. Because <laughs> that's certainly all that matters. Oh, I remember this area. I came down here and I was like, thought it was weird because there was nothing down there. Come again sometime. Alright. Oh, that's not creepy or anything. It's you? Yeah, yeah, it's me. It's too dark to see near the walls. Dog food? That bag of dog food is bigger than me. Who the hell is that? He kind of looks like a big version of our little pal. Oh. My god. I didn't expect you to show up, sh show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... And what? Um... Hiya. I'm Dr. Alfs. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. So basically, you've been stalking me this whole time. Because that's not creepy or anything. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore Castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something? Anyway, recently I decided to make it more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments like, um, why do I feel like the adjustments are really not practical? Anti, anti-human combat features? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. I thought it was going to be something terrible. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided... I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. Oh god, what'd you make it to? Is it gonna hunt me down and murder me? And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. Oh, that's lovely. That's just lovely. Hee 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 hee. But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's the best solution to that problem. You just made something that wants to murder me, and now it's coming. Yeah, I hear the murdering robot. And it sounds ginormous. Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Well, that was unexpected. Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, Gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. What happens if I don't answer correctly? Oh! Oh dear. Metaton attacks. Cry. Metaton attack. Defense 255. Good god. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attacks. Let's start with an easy one. 
What's the prize for answering correctly? More questions? Right, sounds like you get it. The question. So, are we just supposed to continue forever until I get one wrong and then he gets to murder me? Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. Oh, God. What's the king's full name? Yay! The quiz show continues. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made out of? Hopes and dreams, metal and magic, sugar and spice... Okay, I <laughs> just totally guessed that. And here's another easy one for you. Two trains simultaneously depart on a station. What? How the hell am I supposed to know that in 15 seconds? I didn't even answer. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? What? Oh, Lord. What monster is this? A frogget? What is it then? Can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Great answer, I love it. How many letters are in Metatron? These questions are rigged, I don't like it. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kiss Cutie, what's Mew Mew's favorite food? Wow. Somebody's a big fan of that dating sim. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question you'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alps have a crush on? I'm gonna assume Undine. See, house? I told you it was obvious. <laughs> Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Not even any doubt. Margin, margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alf's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but... But, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Or not. Or not not any bloodshed. I'm, I'm cool with that. Until next time, darlings. Well, at least he went away. Well, that was certainly something. I don't... I really don't know what to do about you. It's a half empty bag of dog food. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then, then maybe if you need help, I could... Well, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. <laughs> Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. Even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> wow, way to go overboard there, buddy. Hee hee. Hee. Awkward. That's like a bad date. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> the fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Yeah, let's let's steal our food. It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. 
It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. So... Has she been making all the puzzles easy for me? Like, the, all of the papyrus puzzles that went awry? It seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in Chicken Scratch. Seems like a walkthrough to a gamer. Garbage can, but it's pretty cute. It must be an escalator. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. So now we're spying on her while she's in the bathroom? That's not creepy. Or weird or conspicuous or anything. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undine fight the human. Uh, Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Ask me about it or Undine? Good lord. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. I've been doing so well. Doing okay so far on my own. Vulcan strolls in. Uh, Vulcan attack 25 defense zero mistakenly believes it's lava can heal people. Oh god, you're hurt. I'll help. Please don't I'm like knocking on death's door, and I really don't want to die Vulcan is wiggling its weird rump Oh, I thought I found a safe spot Makes a smoke hoop and jumps through it. Uh, I think if we hug it, I'll probably get third degree burns. So let's encourage it and see what happens. You tell a Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Oh god. Uh, does my best. Vulcan parades around you proudly. Oh good, I can spare it. You won and earn nothing. Alpha's updated status. Gonna call them in a minute. Because I need to know what you're doing every second. Well, this is easy. Just kind of stand here. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Alright, everyone. I think it's a good place to end it for now. Um, that was certainly an interesting little episode. Um, I'm glad I decided to go back and get a bunch of healing items and run away from Udine as fast as I could. I don't think there was any way to beat her and I didn't really want to kill her. Um, cause I, I don't know, I, I like, I like doing the pacifist route so far. Um, but anyway, uh, that's enough for now. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.